What is up guys? Today we are going to take a look at a substitute for the solution minoxidil that a lot of you men are using out there. So today we are going to take a look at a new possible substitution for the solution minoxidil that a lot of men currently are using to fight off androgen alopecia. So at this point, as we all know, androgen alopecia is a problem that affects both men and women on a worldwide scale. And of course, the only FDA approved solutions for this is both the minoxidil solution and the finasteride. Of course, women aren't even able to use the finasteride solution, which of course even shrinks down their possible solutions to fight off androgen alopecia. The study we are going to take a look at today is a what's called a non-inferiority study. It is from 2018 in India, where a group of researchers conducted this study to test out whether a 0.2 solution of caffeine would be non-inferior to the 5% minoxidil solution that we are currently using. So this means that they tested whether a subject or an alternative is at least as good as the other or older alternative that they are comparing it to. To specify, they wanted to test if caffeine is just as least is at least as good as the minoxidil solution that we are currently using. The test subject criteria to enter this study were at least a 3 to 5 level on the Norwood Hamilton Balding scale. Now, if you're not familiar with this scale, you can either Google it or you can at least just take a look at the first picture I'll present up here. This is a level 3 and the other picture up here is a level 5. This shows that the subject has to be at least between this on a balding scale namely the Norwood Hamilton scale, which is a widely known scale and is very approved for this kind of studies. Now, besides that, they excluded any subjects that were showing signs of balding due to any kind of manual interventions. This means basically that if you are either doing anything like scouring on your scalp or if you're pulling your hairs out, especially if you're carrying a man bun, you can have what's called traction alopecia, where actually the hair is being pulled out from your scalp. If they saw any sign of that, you were excluded. Also, if we were doing any kind of medicine, maybe steroids or anything, and you were balding due to that, you were also excluded from the study. Now, if you take a look at the study, as I provided a link downstairs in the description for, you can see that there's actually a ton of data that we can take a look at. Since I'm going to try and keep these kind of videos simple for you guys, since I don't want to waste anyone's time with all kinds of info you don't think you need, I'm just going to skip over it. If you want to know more about this kind of data or how to read it, analyze it yourself and how it works, comment below. I can make a video where I go further into details about this stuff and I will be glad to inform any of you guys who wants to know more about this. If we take a look at the results from the study, we can see that the researchers are stating as follow. At six months, minoxidil 5% solution were associated with a non-significantly higher increase from baseline in the AR compared to the caffeine-based topical 0.2 liquid solution, which were 11.68% increase and 10.59, meaning there was about 1% difference in how well it worked. Now, for those of you who want to know, the AR stands for anagen weight, meaning when the hair is in an anagen phase, it is still growing. And when the anagen weight is increased by 10%, it means that you have 10% more hair growing than when you started the, the treatment. So to sum it up for all you guys out there, what this basically means is that if you are using minoxidil and maybe you are struggling with any kinds of sides or you just don't like it, you can actually just try and switch over to the caffeine. So if you are using the minoxidil solution, this is a possible alternative option for some of you, for some of you guys out there. Now I can't promise that it will work on everyone as well as it did in the study. And there is no evidence that it is by all means just working like that for every single person out there. We're all different, but 
if you are struggling with a lot of sites for minoxidil you can try this if you are if you actually at some point had to stop using minoxidil and you want to have another option for you since you can't use minoxidil for whatever reason you maybe stopped it for this is actually a pretty good substitute besides that the caffeine has shown in other studies to actually decrease swelling and help with flakiness itchiness dermatitis it's also called so if you are having like either you get bumps on your head from the minoxidil or you get a swelling on the head from minoxidil or if you get flaky skin or dermatitis like it which is wet and itchy skin then this is a very good substitute that, that won't cause the same sides also beside that if you want to stick with the minoxidil and you are experiencing some kind of swelling if you just add some caffeine solution to the minoxidil when you apply it, or just add some caffeine in the morning maybe, then you can actually reduce the swelling that will occur from the minoxidil. So by adding this, you can actually maybe reduce the swelling that you apparently are getting, some of you, from the minoxidil. Also, for those of you who are using stuff like IU58841 or CB0301, in the next couple of days, I will test how well that a caffeine solution, which I just have here, actually works with the IU58841 and if it will go into what's called suspension and if I can actually switch out my minoxidil myself with this solution instead, since I am getting a lot of swelling on my forehead and I don't like it and I have swelling in my face from the minoxidil. If I can skip it out, if I can switch it out with, with this product, I'll be more than thrilled. So guys, it's all out for you. You know how it works. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you feel like. Helps me out. And until next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.